who needs to hear this, but stop underestimating the love of God. Like some of you guys don't really believe that God loves you or you maybe don't even believe in God, but it's simply because you've never sincerely given God the opportunity to even show you that he loves you or that he cares about you. Um, a lot of the atheists like I hear will say things like, oh, well, you know, God is too big to, you know, care about my little prayer. Uh, if I pray, I don't know, you know, who, God is too busy, you know, running the universe. And that's nonsense. The Bible says that the very hairs on our head are numbered. That means hair 5,961 in your head right now, it is numbered. God knows about that hair. The same God that created the heavens and the earth and gravity and the universe and the planets and all these amazing, wonderful, magnificent things is the same God that cares about the quality of your heart, is the same God that cares about you being kind to your mom and your dad and to the stranger, you know, on the side of the road and to, you know, your colleagues. It's the same God that cares about not only the quality of your heart, but also loves you and you know wants to show you his love you know the bible even talks about in a verse um you know if if you if your fathers who are wicked know how to give good gifts to their children meaning if evil men still sincerely have love in their hearts for their children how much more does god the ultimate perfect father want to do for his children for us if evil fathers love their kids and still give, buy their kids presents and do all these things for their kids, you know, people who like do crazy evil things like people in the mafia, how much more do you think God loves you? So stop thinking that anything is too insignificant or small or little, you know, it's not. Invite God into that situation. Just invite him, you know? And this looks like something as small as, you know, if you need help with something, asking God sincerely to help you. I'll give an example. Today I was, you know, walking around in, you know, these very uncomfortable shoes. They were very pretty, but very, very painful. And um, within five minutes of walking in them, I was like, I can't do this. And I sincerely prayed and I asked God, I said, Father God, um, these shoes really hurt. My feet hurt. Um, can you please take the pain away or can you help me to be more comfortable? I don't exactly remember it, but I just asked God to help me to be more comfortable walking around in my shoes because I, I sincerely just felt so much pain in the balls of my feet. And I sat down and when I got back up, it's like the pain, I didn't have any pain. And I was comfortable for the rest of the day. And that's just one of the little things that God did for me today. There's so many tiny little miracles that I can point back to throughout my life to just show me how much God loves me. I shared a testimony, you know, a couple of months ago where the garage door, you know, was broken. I didn't know what happened and I just had no energy or strength to even like fix it. And so I asked God sincerely, like, Father God, can you please like you know, do a miracle because I'm, I'm actually really tired. And then the next time I went outside, um, I met the engineer of the whole entire like complex that I live in. And he was like, oh, I'm the engineer of the whole entire place. Uh, do you need help with your garage door? And he fixed it. When I was in high school and I was writing my final year exams and I was just so depressed and I could barely study. And I prayed before every single exam that God would be with me and write my exams with me. I graduated the top fourth of my class. I had never been the top fourth ever i'd never gotten grades that good but it was because i invited god into my situation and i actually asked him with faith to help me and he did or when i got into my master's program at my law school i prayed and asked god to help me to write my personal statement and the holy spirit helped me to write my personal statement in like two days and i got into one of the top law schools in the country all of these things because i invite god into the little things in my life because I know that God loves me and I don't think that anything is too small or too big for him. So I invite you to do the same thing throughout your week, throughout your day. If you need courage to speak to somebody tomorrow, pray and ask God to give you the courage. If you need wisdom, if you need the right thing to say in a certain situation, pray and ask God to give you the wisdom. Whatever it is that you need, God is Jehovah Jireh. God is a big God. God is a God who loves you. God is a faithful God. If you don't even believe, if you don't know that he loves you, just ask ask him i always tell people that like if you're not even if you don't believe or if you don't know you know if it's jesus or if it's muhammad or whatever ask god sincerely god what is the truth if you approach god with a sincere heart 
and faith that he will answer you, he will. The Bible says, seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. So seek sincerely and watch him work.